real conversion often happens by non-believers, not the believers. And this is a real irony. The most difficult people to convert in the church are those who are already baptized and those who are priests, religious, bishops included. The easier people to convert are those who are sinners, those who have left the church, those who are angry with God. And the reason is simple. Because Catholics can think, oh, we are baptized, or Christian as well. We are baptized. We are justified by faith in Christ. So whatever we do, doesn't matter because Christ will save us. Christ will forgive us. We become complacent. We don't take our faith seriously. We don't really listen to the word of God anymore. The moment we finish our RCAA, that's the end of the formation process. Then we go back to routine, maybe attend Mass once a week, and that's it. We hardly pray, hardly form ourselves, hardly read the Word of God. Complacency. And secondly, self-righteousness. Like the scribes and the Pharisees. Self-righteousness. We think that because we are baptized, we are very holy. Many of us, I tell you today, many of us think that we are immaculately conceived. As holy as the Blessed Virgin Mary. You ask them, oh, I have no sins, Father. I have no sin. Just a few insignificant weaknesses, yeah, but no sin. How can a person convert when the person has no sin? When the person does not feel that he has done anything wrong, there is no conversion. No conversion is possible. No remorse is possible. That is why Pope Francis tells us the whole church from the Pope himself, right down to the bishop, the religious and lepers and everybody must undergo conversion of heart. It is not a one-off thing. It is an ongoing thing. Being open to conversion every day. St. John Paul II, in his encyclical at the beginning of the new millennium, he says, let us have no illusions that just having beautiful structures will bring communion to the church or make the church grow. It is the path of holiness. There is no other way. If we don't take holiness seriously as a path that all of us must undertake, then we will be just like those in the crowd in Jesus' time. No repentance, no change. We should be inspired, my dear brothers and sisters, sometimes when I look at our catechumens, many of them are ready even to be marginalized by their family members because they choose Jesus. Many of them are willing to give up everything. They have greater faith in Jesus than we who are supposedly baptized and all Catholics because they don't take Jesus for granted. They have to pay a price to come to know Jesus. For us, we have got used to him. It doesn't really matter much to us. We are just hearing the word of God day in, day out. No change. No impact on our heart. We pray for humility and for the gift of a docile heart.